Originally, I was going to open this video with a cover of Silent Night, except replacing the word silent with violent, because that happens in the movie, and the title of this film happens to be Violent Night. However, I suck at singing. Violent Night is one of the best Christmas movies that we have ever gotten. If you like crazy, violent B-movies. Now, if you've somehow managed to watch a video about Violent Night, and you don't know what a Violent Night is about, Violent Night is about David Harbour playing Santa and going around and killing people that are doing a house invasion because they want to steal an incredibly rich family's money. This movie is exactly what you think you are going to get from a movie titled Violent Night. Absolute insane fun violence, gory deaths, if that's what you're into. That, that's all I really wanted going into this. Santa spewing one-liners while killing a bunch of bad guys. It is incredibly fun, and if that's all you're looking for, you're gonna enjoy this movie. Most of that, to be fair, is consolidated to the last, like, 30 minutes climax of the movie. The lead-up to that moment is still a lot of really fun, some gory action, really entertaining, a lot of really funny moments that are, you are probably also going to enjoy if you are going into this movie. Preceding all this Santa murdering people thing is a story about a little girl who just wants her family to get back together for Christmas. The basic setup for this film is that this family is going to their grandmother's for Christmas, basically, the matriarch of this big family. This family also happens to be extremely rich and one of those, you know, families in America that kind of just has generational wealth upon generational wealth, has been there forever, you know, monopoly companies, stuff like that. So, John Linguinzamo and his crew of appropriately named Christmas themed bad guys want to steal a bunch of money that the US government gave this family to, you know, do bad American government things with it. But the house that they end up invading, they end up invading it while Santa is doing his rounds and delivering presents and all that kind of thing. So Santa ends up getting trapped in this house and from there, you just have the most entertaining thing imaginable, which is Santa killing bad guys so that he can help this one little girl who still truly believes in him and is talking to him over a radio the entire fucking film. Oh my god, this movie is so much fun. This movie is also surprisingly heartfelt. David Harbour's Santa isn't what you would honestly expect. He is a Santa who is kind of just fed up. He, he's really tired of just the greed and the just, I want the thing, I want the thing, I want the thing, I want the thing, when a lot of people don't truly believe in Santa anymore. And so he comes across this kid who does truly believe in him, who's in a really shitty and scary situation, and he just wants to be able to help her. And... Honestly, throughout this film, she causes him to believe in himself more, and it's really, really cool. There's a lot of, like I said, this movie's strangely heartfelt for a movie about a uh, pretty violent Santa killing a bunch of bad guys coming at him with guns. It's super entertaining, and surprisingly, you have a fairly traditional Christmas story wrapped up in this incredibly gory and oddly violent film just about trying to make people better. Now, again, you're not coming for that. You're coming for David Harbour's Santa killing people and spouting one-liners. And I am very pleased to say this movie has that in droves. Again, like I said, it is mostly consolidated towards the climax of the film, but it does happen throughout and it is incredibly entertaining. This movie has a lot of really good jokes, a really heartfelt message about helping each other and believing in one another and all that kind of thing. Honestly, if you just want a super entertaining movie about Christmas, this is the route to go. It's a lot of fun. It's incredibly entertaining. If you enjoy Christmas movies more along the lines of a Die Hard, you are probably going to enjoy this to no end. Now, if you don't enjoy Die Hard or you're not a fan of, like, ultra-violent movies, you're probably not going to enjoy this. But if you are, I say give this a chance. So for me, Violent Night rolls a 17. 
This movie is incredibly entertaining. It is a lot of fun, and it really just is what the box says it is, which is Santa killing people, along with a surprisingly heartfelt message about family and believing in those around you. This movie is incredibly fun, and if you want to see it, I highly, highly recommend this movie. Again, I fully admit this movie is definitely not for everyone, but if you're into this kind of movie and you just want to see a really fun action movie with Santa, you know, going around killing people to protect a family and spouting one-liners, this is most definitely the film for you. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video from me. I know that this is a rather quick video in terms of some of the reviews that I make, but there's not a ton for me to say about it. But I hope that everyone who watches has a fantastic day. If you want to follow me on any of my socials, links to all of those are going to be in the description down below. But that is all I have. I hope that you all have a fantastic day, and peace.